Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to properly upload a video to YouTube. So you're wanting to upload your first video or maybe it's your second or third video and you're wanting to know how to do it the right way. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to want to log in to the YouTube channel in which we want to upload the video to. So go to youtube.com and go to sign in and just log into your account. Once we are here, go to the YouTube Studio dashboard. You should see something here that says YouTube Studio. So go ahead and click on YouTube Studio. All right, now that we're here, you shouldn't see any uploads if you haven't uploaded a video yet. But what you want to do is right here in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see a button that says create. Now, this button is available everywhere on YouTube. So if you're on the YouTube homepage, if you are on a video page, you, you still will see this create button. But if we click on the create button, we're going to see something that says upload, go live or create post. The one we want, obviously, is upload videos. So once we have clicked on upload video, you're going to be presented with your first action. What you're going to want to do here is to locate the video that you want to upload, the video file from your computer and put it here. You can either find it in your file explorer or finder on a Mac and drag it over here, or you can go to the blue button here that says select files, click on that, and then it'll open up a browser here where you can go to your computer and locate the video. So for me, I found the video that I want to upload and I select the video by either double clicking it or clicking on it and then going to open here. And once you've done that, you'll see it do something here and it will automatically prompt you to go ahead and walk through the process of inputting all of the data that YouTube will need to publish your video. All right, so once we're here, we're going to see the first thing be title. This is going to be the title of the video should go here and it is required anything that is required you will see in parentheses and then you'll see the word required right inside of those now you want to title the video something catchy you don't want it to be very much clickbait but you do want it to be catchy think of this uh, alongside your thumbnail and we'll talk about in a minute as the cover of your book so go ahead and give the video a title here you can see that you can use up to a hundred characters right here uh, so go ahead and give the video a title you're going to see something here that says TubeBuddy or TB on my screen I use a tool called TubeBuddy uh, I'll link it in the description it just makes all that I'm about to show you way easier and way quicker but again it's not required you don't have to have it it's just a tool that I like and recommend all right so once we've done that we've done the title you'll see a description now if you notice my description already has some stuff inside the description box. That's because I have set description defaults. You can go at a later time, go to your channel settings, and if you have links that you want to include in all of your uploaded videos, it just saves you time in the long run. But basically, all you're going to want to do here in the description is go ahead and tell the viewers what the video is about. Now, with some new things that YouTube has released, you can type the at symbol and you can tag someone on YouTube and it will you know, provide a clickable link to them from your description. That is a rather new feature in YouTube. And then you can also go and do hashtags. You can go hashtag, uh, you know, iPhone tips or whatever your video is about. And that will also click to playlist from your description uh, if that's something that you want to do. Now, the description and title and keywords will all uh, be a part of, again, we don't know exactly how much, which, which one's weighted more than the other. At the end of the day, if people stay on your video a long time, if the retention is good, uh, it's going to show up better in results. All of this here that we're doing, again, has effects, but not as important as watch time and time on site or time on YouTube, right? So go ahead and insert your description here. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and find our thumbnail. Now, we can create a thumbnail by selecting a, an auto-generated thumbnail um, from something uh, in the video. I recommend, I highly recommend you upload a custom thumbnail, okay? So instead of selecting one of these auto-formulated or generated ones here from YouTube, I highly recommend you go to upload thumbnail and create your own thumbnail. Now for me, I create mine in Photoshop. As you can see, I've created one here, but you can create it in a free program like Canva, a free program like Pixelmator. It really doesn't matter. And TubeBuddy, which I mentioned earlier, also has a tool that if you go to create thumbnail here, it allows you to kind of, uh, has a very simplistic tool and feature set, but it also allows you to create thumbnail.
thumbnails. Next, we have playlists. Now, if this is your first video, you probably don't have a playlist, but if you select the drop down menu here, you'll see a blue link that says new playlist. Click on that, create your playlist title, make it public, and go to create. Once you do that, you'll want to go here and select it by putting a check mark and then go to done. That will add that video to that playlist. And then you can set your playlist up at a, letter, at a later date to auto play. It's just another great way to keep people on your channel and another great way to increase watch time or retention. Next is very important. The next is audience. Is your video made for kids? Yes or no. If there is a slight chance or if there is even a thought in your mind that it is targeted towards kids, I would select yes. This is very important. This will later affect monetization, whether you can make money from the video, and it just puts a tag or a flag on the video that it is made for kids, okay? Also, we have age restriction, okay? Does this video include paid promotion? Uh, again, this is something that if you're being sponsored to do the video, you do need to divulge that here by clicking yes, but if it's not, just click no. All of these things are required. You have to select one or the other in order to progress and upload the video. Next, we have automatic chapters. I'm sure you've seen this before on YouTube. Basically, chapters are like, think of them, it's very simple, right? Like chapters in a book. Uh, you know, you start at zero, zero, and then you go all the way to the end of the video. And then let's say you have different segments or sections in your video. Uh, this allows YouTube to automatically uh, kind of keynote those. But if you want to, what I recommend is you do them yourself. And now I'm gonna show you how to do that. If we go back up to our description here, uh, let's enter down a little bit. You always have to have it starting at zero uh, colon zero zero. That's always wh where the start point is going to be, right? So this is going to be start, right? And now let's say at a minute into the video, you start talking about something else. You know, go ahead and put point one here. You get the point, right? So if you want to notate chapters manually, you can go in here and do that by putting in timestamps and then exactly what you're talking about there. Those do show up in Google and YouTube results down below your video, so it is always a good tactic to do that. Next, we have our tags. Now, at one point, these were very, very important. I don't think them to be very important currently, but I do always suggest that you include tags in your video as you're uploading it. Again, all of these tools here you see are all TubeBuddy tools. You're not going to see any of this, right? So what you're going to see is just the tag box here and never tag your video with things that are unrelated to said video. So whatever your video is about, you can add tags uh, as keywords or keyword phrases. So keywords are obviously individual singular words uh, by, you know, keyword, whatever it is. And then the phrases would be, say, keyword and then the word phrases, like multiple words, right? Uh, so again, I would, you know, suggest that you include tags or keywords in your video, right? Next, if we scroll down, we're going to see something that says language and captions certification. Uh, again, this is going to be what language you want your captions to be in. All of this stuff here is not necessary or required. It's always good to add more data uh, to your video, but all of this is fairly self-explanatory, right? If you want your captions to be in English, if you want them to be automated, you can do those here. Uh, the recording date, you can add a date as far as when it was recorded. I, I rarely do that. And then license and distribution, don't change this, leave this here. And then you want to allow embedding most of the time, unless it's like a sponsor kind of requirement where you can't. Uh, and then you want to publish to subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. If you ever don't want to notify your subs, which I don't know why you would not want to do that, you can uncheck that if that's something that you want to do. Also, uh, something new, shorts sampling. It allows people to create shorts from your video and then just give your video a category. And then next, we'll see comments and ratings. I always go to allow all comments because we're going to have spam comments on YouTube anyways. Uh, but the one that most people do is hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. And then this new thing here is increased strictness because we're getting so much spam on YouTube. So you decide who and how you want to allow comments and how you want to sort them. And then you can even show how many viewers like the video. You can uncheck this if you don't want to show how many likes the video gets. All right. So once you've done that, click next. If it's your first video, you're not going to have this next tab, but I'm going to show it anyways. This is monetization or the ability to make money from said video. If you click the drop down menu here, you turn monetization on, click done, and then you select what types of ads you want to include on your video. Once you've turned that on or off, go ahead and click the next button once again. This next page is mandatory. Does your video, it's, it's only mandatory for people who are monetizing their content, but I'd go ahead and get in the habit of doing it now. 
Basically, you need to let YouTube know, does your video include inappropriate language? If it does, you need to hit the drop down menu and select what type of language it does. Go through all of these and select all of the ones that are applicable to your video. If it doesn't include, include any of these, you just click none of the above and submit rating. Again, this is for monetizations, monetization and running ads on the video. Next are going to be your video elements. You can add subtitles. You know what those are. Those are going to be the text below the video. You can add an in screen. You can insert it, insert it from the video or add it. So basically this is going to be something at the end of the video, kind of like a call to action. And then cards. Cards are going to be the informational panels that come up in the corner corners of videos, letting people know they can click off to go to your website whatever your CTA or call to action may be. And then the next and final page is going to be visibility. Okay. So do you want this to be shown to everyone? Then, you know, a normal YouTube video, you want that, you want it to be public right now. If you only want it to be unlisted. So any, only people with the link can view your video, you would select this and then private would be only people that you actually send the link to can actually watch the video and the members only that's for people who have monetization enabled. Uh, and have met the requirements and have a membership kind of subscription based on their YouTube channel. Or another thing you can do is schedule. Click schedule here, select a future date in the future, a time that you want to upload that video, and then you're good to go. Now a premiere is going to be something kind of like a live stream where you can interact with folks as they view it in real time. Again, unless you know what that is, I would kind of stay away from that. So you can either schedule it or you can make it, you know, private, unlisted or public, whatever you want to do. And you'll even see the link that you can copy here to that video. Now, once you are good to go and you click public here, as soon as I click the blue publish button here, the video will be already uploaded to YouTube. So I go ahead and let it process. If it's still processing in HD or however you're uploading the video, let it complete and then click publish. It'll say, are you sure this is going to go public and hit OK. Now, once this video is on your channel, go back to your YouTube studio by clicking on YouTube studio and then go to content over here in the left hand side. You are now going to see the video right here under your video list. And if we click into that, we can always go back and edit the things that we just added. So if you want to edit the description or the title or monetization or anything here, you can always go back and edit that right here. And if you wanted to, you can click on the link to go watch the video. And that's it. That's how you upload a video properly on YouTube. If you have any questions about any step along the, the journey, just put those in the pinned FAQ comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.